Hey guys, Paul and the Beard back with you for round number five of our King of the Cage. It has been a long winter and we are ready for this season to start, as I'm sure many of you are too. A huge thank you to everyone who watched our King of the Cage events and all the great comments and support. Let's get right into the results. We lead off with Mont's Adversity. This one-piece bat from Monsta Athletics just never was a contender in any rounds. It really seems the change in density of foam played a big part in the break-in time for this bat, and we just didn't find any life from it at all. Next, we have the Anarchy Diablo. This is a great one-piece bat that is just getting better and better. We always enjoyed swinging it, and for the one-piece guys out there, this is an easy choice for you. This bat is still very available on the second-hand market. We really haven't seen this bat peak yet, which makes us believe there's still a lot left to offer. The third bat in round five is the Monster Fallout. We really like this bat from Monsta. It's right up there in round five with top end performance. And this bat is another one that we really feel has a lot more to offer as it gets into the second half of its life. This feels to me like the best all around bat that Monsta has to offer. Multiple swing rates, great durability, and a nice performance. The Anarchy Rebellion needs no introduction. What a special combination of durability and performance with an absolute bombshell of an end load. There's just something special about the way this bat comes through the zone and launches into orbit anything and everything it comes across. If you have one of these tucked away in your closet somewhere, call 701-64, uh, no, I'm only joking. But this is a very sought after bat and for the right reasons. This exit velocities are at the top end of all the bats featured in the King of the Cage, and these guys are straight fire. Monsta's DNA mutated is next, and guys, let me tell you, this bat really has more in the tank. It just didn't open up quick enough to really show what it has for the King of the Cage. We have experienced top end numbers out of the DNA mutated, so if you like these bats, there are plenty available out there, and don't be afraid of high swing count, use DNA mutateds. The Nitrous from Anarchy is up next. The Nitrous is a super durable bat that loves to be swung. This Nitrous just keeps ticking up the radar and is such a great performing bat. This bat shows early life and has an extremely long top end peak performance. This is the bat that you bring out for everyone to swing. It takes a beating and just keeps getting better. The Demon by Anarchy is really catching fire out there and for all the right reasons.
It is truly an impressive bat. Look at these exit velocities recorded for round number five. Last up is the Monster Torch. The Torch has performed very well in the King of the Cage. It's just always a small step behind the lead. This bat finishes up with a great showing from all rounds. The bat in the video didn't last another 50 swings after we were done capturing the footage. So you're seeing the end of the life cycle for this Torch and it was impressive. Take a look at the round five high scores. The bats are so impressive in the top seven, you cannot go wrong with any of these off this list. We also included the five round average for each bat to show you how they performed throughout the entire competition. Well, that's a wrap for the 2019 Polly and the Beard King of the Cage. And it is no surprise, the top performing bat out of the eight, it's the Anarchy Demon. The Demon showed off impressive numbers throughout the competition this bat catches fire quick and stays at a high level for an extremely long time. If you have a chance to get your hands on one of these bats, don't hesitate. They will not disappoint you. We now crown the Anarchy Demon, Polly and the Beard's King of the Cage. We really hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed swinging all these bats. Guys, we're not done. We will continue to bring you as much of the new line 2019 bats that we can get our hands on. If you'd like to catch all the upcoming action from Polly and the Beard, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We truly hope that each one of you have a great season and enjoy yourselves. Be safe. If you're in the Red River Valley, you won't be getting out on the fields anytime soon. Come swing with us at the FM Ball Yard. You can find them at fmballyard.com and on Facebook. Peace.